All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, roof construction. Now, there's a question based on bit masks and uh, assume that uh, not a lot of you are familiar with uh, the concept of bit masks and how to use them effectively. So, I'll go a bit slow in this video. Uh, don't worry if this question was a little bit intimidating. Uh, we'll break it down step by step, okay? So I hope you've read the question once, uh, but what we have to effectively do is uh, we have to place like n consecutive vertical pillars and uh, what we want to do is uh, we want the height of all the pillars to form a permutation P of integers from 0 to n minus 1. Now, what is a permutation? Uh, a permutation is an array consisting of n distinct integers from 0 to n minus 1 in any arbitrary order, right? So, usually permutation is from 1 to n, but here they have defined it to 0 to n minus 1 in, in any arbitrary order, right? And uh, there is something uh, which is uh, cost of construction defined. What is cost of construction is it is the maximum value of bitwise ZOR of heights of all pair of adjacent uh, pillars. So, this is what it is, right? So, in other words, it is a maximum of pairwise adjacent ZORs, right? So, this is the roof construction, like cost of roof construction that is defined here. All in all, uh, we have to place uh, like n vertical pillars and it should form a permutation, right? The heights should form a permutation. Permutation, array consisting of n distinct integers from 0 to n minus 1 in any arbitrary order. And the construction cost will be maximum of pairwise adjacent zones, right? That's always the cost. And of course, we want to minimize this, right? This part we want to minimize. So, more concretely, in input, uh, you have n, right? So, how many walls you have to put that is uh, the wall height will be 0 to n minus 1 right and you can use a wall height uh, at most one like exactly once okay in the output you have to output a permutation permutation that is an array of integers from 0 to n minus 1 in any arbitrary order where uh, this pi is the height of ith wall so that is the question so how do you approach this question uh, all in all uh, if we are given a value n we want to place uh, numbers 0 to n minus 1 such that the maximum of pairwise adjacent zords is minimized, right? The roof construction cost should be minimized. Now, first things uh, that should come to your mind is what are properties of zor? So, the properties of zor are like this, like uh, it will yield one uh, only when two different bits are there. So, that is one zor zero is one and zero zor one is one. And if two bits are same, zero zor zero will be zero and one zor one will be zero. So, two bits are same or more concretely, if there are odd number of ones, you will get a one. Otherwise, you will get a zero. So that is the property of ZOR. Okay, uh, that is that. But next, um, now in question based on bit masks, if you are just starting out, it pays well that you understand through the examples. Afterwards, you can develop uh, abstract thinking. But uh, here, uh, I'm gonna take an example because it will make my life easier to explain you also. So let's just take an example. Uh, what example should I choose? Like crafting a good example is also an art, right? So how do you choose a good example? Now what I was thinking is. Uh, these are bits and all right uh, so what i thought is uh, let's just pick uh, like uh, if you are familiar with binary numbers like if there are all ones or all zeros uh, like it it is easy to interpret so for completeness sake i chose n equals to 8 why n equals to 8 uh, because then you will get the numbers like the pillar heights from 0 to 7 and this 7 is all ones if you remember in binary Right, so just uh, because it gives a sense of completeness in some sense, uh, I thought let's just take this example if I can figure something out. Right, so I'll just write the binary for all these numbers and see if we can get some uh, insights into it. Okay, so n equals to 8. Let me just write the binary of all the numbers in this range. So this is 0. Okay, then this is 1. Then uh, this is 2. Then this is 3. Then uh, we have 4. Then this is 5. This is 6 and this is 7 right so 0 to 7 i have written here okay now what is the maximum roof construction cost here that you can achieve of course you want to minimize it but i was just looking up on the bounds like uh, what are the bounds of the roof construction here so if you see here uh, this is 7 right so this is the maximum guy here now if you place a 0 adjacent to it uh, the zor's property is such that uh, if you do x zor 0 you'll always get x right this is the property of zor if you do x or 0, you'll always get x. If you do x or 1, you'll always get x bar. Uh, so, this is the property of zor, right? x bar means complement of, like, if you do 0, zor 1, you get 1. If you do 1, zor 1, you get 0. So, this is the maximum guy, right? n minus 1. And if I put all zeros here, of course, uh, you will get, uh, like, you will get a pair which has a zor value to be 1, 1, 1. So, this is the maximum, right? So, there is a chance. So, I'm just figuring out the bounds. So, for roof construction, the maximum value that you can achieve is n minus 1. We are putting 0 uh, beside all 1s or n minus 1, right? In other words. Okay. Uh, so, that is the maximum you can achieve. Okay. So, I want to do better than this, right? I don't want all 1s. 
so the next logical thinking is um, how can i reduce it now how do you think about reducing it uh, think bit by bit right so you realize here that the concept of bit masks is involved here or uh, you have to think at the bit level because uh, it is involving a bitwise or zor operation right so i want to reduce this i don't want all ones now which bit should you try to get rid of uh, this bit this bit or this bit of course you should try to get rid of the highest set bit uh, why i'm saying this is because if you have a binary number let's say the bit weights are like this right so the bit weights are distributed like this 2 power 0 2 power 1 so on 2 power k minus 1 2 power k now even if you have all ones here all ones here uh, there's some add up to 2 power k minus 1 right but this individual guy is 2 power k right so your best bet is try to get rid of the most set bit because it it holds a higher weightage than rest of the bits right so if i can somehow get rid of the highest set bit uh, i i am able to do maximum reduction right i am able to do a lot of reduction because even if all of these bits are set they do not exceed if there is a one present here makes sense right so i'll try to get rid of this bit that is the highest set bit now the question is can i get rid of it okay uh, let's try so what you can do is to get rid of this bit you can place it uh, with this okay so then these two will go fine you can place these two together so then this two like these two's uh, addition zor will have zero here i'm not even thinking about rest of the bits guys i'm only focusing on how can i get rid of highest set bit because if i get rid of it my job is very easy because uh, it holds maximum weightage right so maybe i can just follow this order only if i put them like this then uh, i'm able to get rid of highest bit here 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 but the issue arises there will be at least one guy right there will be at least one guy before which you will uh, have zero at this position okay so what i'm trying to say is so here the maximum set bit is let's let's name this position 0 1 and 2 so highest set bit is at position 2 right so i want to get rid of it because highest set bit holds very high weightage so how can i get rid of it of course if you put the uh, put the highest set bit uh, guys together you can get rid of it to some extent right so these two cancel out each other these two cancel out each other these two cancel out each other but of course uh, there will be a point right so there will be there will be this value what is this value this is actually 2 power k minus 1 right so the highest uh, set bit is k this value is 2 power k minus 1 here the highest set bit is 2 so 2 power 2 minus 1 this guy will create prob problem right so what will happen is after some point you won't have guys with kth bit set right so at this point uh, so this was what 2 power k and then 2 power k minus 1 right so you have no option but to put any of these guys beside this 2 power k guy and uh, it will ensure that your roof construction cost is at least 2 power k right in other words you take this set what is the highest set bit the highest set bit is this right so here anyway you have no option uh, you have to choose any of these two so roof construction cost is at least 2 power k if you consider this set this set means uh, here n is what here uh, n is 4 so you have values from 0 to 3 okay so you'll try to put these two together you'll try to nullify the highest set bit but then you have, then you will have a problem where you place the 2 power k -th guy the value with the 2 power k you will be left with some guys whose k -th weight is not set right even if you want to consider this set where n is uh, what n is 5 right n is 5 so you are going till 4 so you will try to nullify the highest set bit here you will try to nullify the highest set bit here but at some point you will run out with guys with kth bit not set and then uh, roof construction cost all in all will be at least 2 power k right roof construction cost the lower bound this is right so this is the higher bound n minus 1 and the lower bound that you have the lower bound that you have is 2 power k what is this k this k is the highest set bit right k is the highest set bit and the reason we have already seen because at some point you will run out with the guys with the highest set bit and eventually you will get a zero at kth bit and the roof construction cost uh, will become at least 2 power k okay so these are the bounds right 2 power k till n minus 1 right and this works for any case it doesn't i this is not uh, exclusive to when this n is 2 power k minus 1 right in any case this will work right even if i take here let's say uh, i had a 8 here 100 0, 0, and uh, 9 will be 101 1, right in this case also uh, the highest set bit is what 3 right so you will be able to destroy by putting these two together but at some point you will have a zero at a kth bit and your roof construction will become at least 2 power k 
right so this is a very general bound that your roof construction cost lies between 2 power k and n minus 1 and how do you how do you get n minus 1 in front of this you put all zeros so this will ensure that uh, your roof construction cost is n minus 1 right so this is how it is so now we have a bound on roof construction cost it lies between 2 power k and n minus 1 uh, where k is the highest set bit right so if this is the lower bound is there a way that I can arrange these numbers such that I get the roof construction cost to be exactly 2 power k that is maximum of pairwise adjacent zors to be exactly 2 power k because I know the roof construction cost will be at least 2 power k so if somehow you can make sure that I get this roof construction cost to be exactly 2 power k my job is done right I have already minimized the roof construction cost right so I have taken an example here uh, n equals to 11 and uh, what will be the value of k here uh, just see so the value of k is uh, I guess 0, 1, 2, 3 right so this is the highest set bit. Can I get an arrangement such that the roof construction cost uh, stays 2 power k. Now uh, this is the point uh, where this uh, kth bit start getting set right so what is this value this is 8 right so this is 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9, 10 so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on right so n equals to 11 so you have numbers from 0 to 10. So at this point, the kth bit is starting to get set. If somehow you can make sure that uh, the elements that I place now, the maximum uh, of pairwise adjacent ZOR does not go above 2 power k, my job is done. Now, one thing we have already observed, if I place all of these guys together, uh, I can make sure that this 2 power kth bit goes. So, putting these three together makes sense because Putting these three together in the here, you will never get a like this will be less than 2 power k, this will be less than 2 power k because anyway kth bit is gone, right? What should I put before this guy who has kth bit set such so that it doesn't go like it doesn't increase, right? It doesn't increase, like it doesn't go beyond 2 power k. So, what should I put here such that we don't change this number, right? This is number is what 2 power k, right? We don't want to go beyond it. What are the properties of Zor? Uh, is there a value which doesn't change it, which doesn't change anything? If you remember, I'll give you some time. X or 0 is X, right? Thinking at the bitwise level. So, if I put all zeros here, it's not going to change this value, right? So, it is going to uh, keep the value here, the Zor value, 2 power k only. So, other words, what I'm trying to say here is, you have 1, 0, 0, right? So, the k equals to 3 bit set, 8. If I put all zeros here, all zeros here that is I decide uh, to put this zero here it will ensure that these two is 2 power k so you are not exceeding you are not going beyond 2 power k and then I am going to arrange what the, what are these values these are 2 power k plus 1 so on till what this is n right so if I put here 1 0 0 1 and 1 0 1 0 this part is 2 power k this part whatever values are here whatever uh, pairwise uh, zors you have will never exceed 2 power k because uh, all have kth bit set so in this portion you will never have a pair uh, pair of elements pair of adjacent elements whose zor is above 2 power k now it doesn't really matter how you put uh, anything here it will not exceed like uh, it will not exceed 2 power k right doesn't really matter how you arrange these guys by the property that uh, the sum of the sum of uh, like if you have here 2 power k, 2 power k minus 1, 2 power k minus 2, so on till 0, no matter however configuration, what configuration you get here, it cannot exceed uh, this part, right? So this will be maximum 2 power k minus 1. This is as simple as you can get, right? All 3 bit set is 7, but just if the 1 bit is set, the third position is 8, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. So you arrange these guys in any order you want, that is, you arrange uh, what what is remaining uh, 1 till 2 power k minus 1 you are sure that these two any two here will never have a bitwise zor greater than 2 power k right so the question in done and dusted here uh, how did you arrange it i'll repeat myself again so you wanted to make sure that the bitwise zor doesn't exceed 2 power k so what you did is uh, beside 2 power k you put yeah you put 0 so this is you can say you are bounding 2 power k from this part no matter what elements you put, you can never get a bitwise ZOR to be 2 power k. Okay? Because you don't have a kth bit set for the remaining elements. That is from uh, 1 till 2 power k minus 1, you don't have kth bit set. 
and from this here you can put the guys from 2 power k plus 1 till n minus 1 and here by the property that you have kth bit set for every element here again you will never exceed uh, 2 power k the or right so that's that uh, this is how you should arrange it so if i have to concretize it let's just concretize it a bit so this is how your arrangement will look like you will have elements from let's say 0 till 2 power k minus 1 2 power k minus 1 and then you have elements from 2 power k 2 power k plus 1 so on till n minus 1 right so here if you want the answer it will be what it will be 8 9 10 then it will be 0 0 1 2 so on till what 7 so this will be the answer now the bonus question uh, here was uh, what will the count of uh, like what will the possible uh, permutations uh, you can develop with the minimum roof construction cost and that, now that's an interesting question uh, like now that you have seen uh, how you should arrange it you should be able to answer this question uh, let me know in the comments uh, uh, if you are not able to figure it out uh, i'll answer in the comments okay so what i'm trying to ask you here is if, how many ways can you arrange uh, these pillars such that the roof construction cost stays to bar k now you know for the fact these two don't change okay i'm just giving you a hint uh, these two don't change you can change any of these guys here so tell me like what should be uh, the number of ways to arrange these pillars uh, such that the roof construction cost doesn't exceed uh, like is minimum that is just to parking okay enough about that so let's just quickly implement this okay guys so let's just quickly implement it so how do we want to arrange it so that cost stays exactly to power k we'll put like this we'll have 2 power k minus 1 till 0 first 2 power k minus 1 till 0 first and then 2 power k 2 power k plus 1 so on till n minus 1 right but first things first we need to get the highest set bit right so what what am i gonna do for it first initialize k equals to 0 so i'm assuming that highest set bit is 0 and then what i'm gonna check is uh, if this bit is set, uh, the value at that position should be less than equals to n minus one, right? So what I'm, what I'll check is, if one left shift k plus one. So what I'm now gonna check is, uh, is the first bit one power k? So is two power one? So if you remember, if you left shift one by some number, it the value becomes that like two power that number. So right now I'm gonna check whether the first bit is set. If the first bit is set, this thing will be less than equals to n. Right, until one left shift k plus one is less than it, I'm going to increment k, increment k. So after this loop ends, uh, you will find the value of k, the highest set bit. Now you can just print the answer. So what do you want to do? You want to go from i equals to one left shift k minus one. So this is what two power k minus one, i greater than equals to zero, i minus minus. So two power k minus one till zero, you want to go, right? So I'll just print i followed by a space. And now you want to print what? Uh, int i equals to two power k. Right, so what two power two power k one left shift k i less than n i plus 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 and c out i followed by a space and I think I misspelled c out here c out and in the end just print a new line right so simple find the highest set bit right and then print uh, two power k minus one till zero and then print two power k till n minus one and yeah that's that let me just quickly run it okay guys so I realized uh, that there was one typo here of course uh, the until 2 power k is less than equals to n minus 1 i'll increment k plus 1 right so until uh, that bit is set like the value when that bit is set it is 2 power k is less than equals to n minus 1 right so then only we have to increment this k here so now it didn't change the answer here because uh, because this test cases are not meant like this but it will fail right at some case so now i'll submit it okay yeah it works uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one